finding purpose, finding passion. These are the primary points I've been trying to make on my blog, GuyMcPherson.com, for 12 and a half years now. I'm trying to encourage people to find their own purpose. Why are you here? What is it that has you get up in the morning eagerly looking forward to the day? I'm a teacher. It's not what I do. It's who I am. That's my purpose is to relay information, relay relevant information about a variety of topics. I don't know your purpose. I'm pretty sure that living in a bunker is not your purpose, even if it extends your life. Bear in mind that mass extinction events, such as the one we are in, not at the beginning of, not in, at some future time, we're actually in a mass extinction event, and they require 10 million years for the planet to recover. You think you're going to last in a bunker 10 million years? You think you're going to serve beans to the sociopaths in the bunker for 10 million years? You're not. Your purpose is not to live out your final days in a bunker, even if you are a sociopath. Let me give an example. A few years ago, an acquaintance at the time asked me about poetry. Should I take a class in poetry? She asks... And I said, yes, I don't know why you wouldn't. Today, she has become a dear friend. It's a few years later, and she writes poetry every day. I don't think she could get through a day without writing poetry. It has become so much a part of who she is and what she does writing poetry to act as a witness to what's going on in the world around her, around us. She has found purpose in what seems like a, a minor concern, but has become a big issue for her. That's the same with my work. It may seem like a minor concern for some people. It's a major concern for me. Your purpose presumably will work out the same way. At the Edge of Extinction, only love remains. <laughs>